Okay, today we are going to be installing two NEMA 1450 outlets for uh, electric cars, whether you have a Tesla or any other car. And I'm here with Mark today. So Mark is gonna tell you a little more about this because I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to electricity. I know enough to get myself in trouble, but here is Mark. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Mark with Focus Electric. We will be installing two 1450 receptacle outlets, uh, overcurrent protection, uh, two pole 40 amp breakers with number eight wire to maximize that 32 amps for each charging location. Okay, so we're gonna put one right here and one right next to or under the uh, electrical box. This box is in the garage. Now, a lot of you, I know, when you see an electrical box like this, make sure you don't touch it, okay? <laughs> That's one thing. Two, if you see that there is no room for breakers, that doesn't mean that that this panel is actually full. Um, In electricians' is, um, vocabulary, full doesn't mean it's filled with breakers. Am I correct? Correct. We'll be installing tandem breakers to take the place of two single pole breakers. And then that will free up room for our two pole 40 amp breakers. Okay, so you guys are going to see, I mean, this is what it is before, and you're gonna be seeing it after, all right? By the way, if you're looking to move to the area and you are investing, selling, buying real estate, feel free to reach out. All my information is going to be up there in the description somewhere, but uh, this is just one thing I know new homeowners are looking for. So in this particular case, uh, we are going to be installing these two outlets for future electric cars. All right, I hope you're gonna like this video. All right, drywall is coming out, that's the cut. By the way, reach out to Mark, okay? His information is going to be in the description down below. Uh, if you have any questions about this or if you want to have yours installed, all right? He works here in North Carolina. Uh, covers the Greater Triangle area of North Carolina, and I'm not sure if he goes too far, but he's an excellent in everything he does. Coming soon to Florida and Virginia. All right, there you go. Those those of you coming here from Florida or Virginia, yes, you can do it there too. <laughs> but if you're looking to buy something here, reach out to us. So now we are installing these outlets. Nevertheless, I'm not a licensed electrician. Mark is. He doesn't know what he's doing, okay? And every single time when you do this, especially in a, in a home that has not been installed before, please, please do not try to save on a permit. Anything that's electrical, uh, plumbing, it does require a permit. As a homeowner, can you do it? Sure, you can do it. Um, most of the things you can. But when it comes to installing these electrical outlets, please pull the permit, hire a licensed electrician. So right now you just So we have taken out the you took out taken out the single pole twenties, mm -hmm. put in tandem two pole twenties, two of them, which freed up the two spaces in the center to add in the new two pole forty amp break. Yes, and we will have to uh obviously relabel the panel once it's back. Once it's done, I have a label maker and that will be updated on the panel. I'll try to aim for those. Put the box on this, on this side, put the hole on this side, since there's less wires coming down. So, so you're gonna be bring the wires from where? From here somewhere? Down here, down, down to there, the crawl space. Down the crawl space. We'll come back up come to back the up correct there. location. At that point, we put in two gang boxes, 1450 receptacle, and a cover plate. Nice. Just so you guys know, these are the 1450s. See, it says 1450. Now with this 1450M. Um, 2020, I can, I can expect, expect probably like what? eight, nine kilowatt per hour charge. Correct. You need help with this? No. So we replaced the uh, the breakers. And Mark, what kind of uh, cable are we using here? Eight, eight, three non-metallic cable. 
83 Romax. Continuing the EV uh, chargers install, now we have a, an inspector from the town uh, checking all the work out. Here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Yes, sir. Is that six or eight? Uh, gauge wire. We have to eight. open up oh, the so wall this is a, no, this so we can check everything eight, out. Eight, this is why you don't want to finish yeah, no, everything three, before yeah. it's done. Okay. <clears throat> so see, everything's open. Can you grab the pamphlet really quick? So the inspector can actually check. Okay, you want me to hang the switch upside down so the on is down and the off is up? Yes. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure that's what you want. Yeah. So I get it. I don't want that to happen to you. So have a good one. I hope you enjoy the long weekend. Thanks. We'll see you again. Thank you, yep. Thank you very much. Yep. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you. Fun part. I'm putting it all back. Putting it all back, all back together. It never happened. Okay. So we had everything replaced, we just had it inspected, town sent an inspector, Mark did an absolutely amazing job right here, uh, those are the uh, outlets, everything's hidden behind the wall, we're gonna put everything back and show you the end result. Alright, so here's the end result, it still needs a little bit more finishing. Uh, so it would be perfect right now, it looks good, it's a garage, but this is the outlet, That's one of them, here is the other one, charger was installed as well, so there are the studs, that's why it was installed this way, so I would hold it much better versus just holding it on a sheet rock. As you can see, this is where the opening was on the wall. They did mount the wall and uh, painted it, so everything looks good. You've seen the end result. Now that it passed the inspection and you have the certificate from the inspector, you can go ahead and ask for an itemized receipt from the licensed electrician. You have these two documents and you can go ahead and start the rebate application. Let me get in front of my computer and show you where to find that. Okay, here I am in front of my computer. I just opened Duke Energy's website. You can literally type in to Google charger prep credit for uh, EV chargers. You're gonna find the link. The link is here. I'm gonna put it in the description. So you can just click on it. And uh, there you go. So this program will provide a one-time credit up to $1,117 per charger to help cover the cost of preparing your home for an electric vehicle charger, right? You may apply for one rebate per EV registered to your address. What's covered, you can read that as well, uh, here's customer credit option. If you have an electrical contractor already chosen to do the work or you have been you have completed the charger prep work in the last four months, you can submit your paid invoice and receive a check. And click on customer good. credit option, just read through it. This is a level two or higher EV charger. Most households are going to go with level two charger, of course. And uh, you need to apply and submit documentation. They will review the application and then you're gonna get a check in the mail. By the way, I recorded several other videos about inspections, new construction versus resale, neighborhoods here in the Raleigh area of North Carolina. So if you are selling, buying or investing here in the Raleigh area, make sure you give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. I'd love to help. That being said, cheers to the next video.